Hello, welcome back with an update on the tropics. Sam actually moved a little bit further than I thought she would, um, but still is a massive Category 4 hurricane just east of Bermuda. It did peak again with 150 mile an hour winds, and it held that for a good couple days, which is interesting. What the heck? Oh no, did just about hourly updates, what? Okay. Now that was a good day, but still, the fact it maintained that, um, it's still a major hurricane, 140, 125, 115, it's looking to not lose major hurricane status until midday October 3rd, with 110 mile an hour winds, 105, 90 as a post-tropical cyclone, 75, 60, and that's south of Iceland, um, and west of Ireland. But yeah, satellite imagery. The fact that this is a massive Category 4 hurricane. And it looks like a Category 1 that's about to go into the northeast in the U.S. Tropical storm warnings for Bermuda. I'm not surprised. Um, at, but outside of that, this thing is not really a threat to land. Except for maybe Europe. With the Depends on what the models. Okay, some models have this going into... Newfoundland, so that could be an issue there. St. Pierre McQuellen also heads up there. Um, but yeah, this thing is a huge system. Uh, Victor, I no longer suspect to go into hurricane status. It peaked at 65 mile an hour winds and is expected to weaken 45, 45, 40, 40. Tro uh, maybe a brief tropical depression before becoming post tropical cyclone with 35 mile an hour winds. Yeah, this thing's not going to become a hurricane. Um, but yeah, satellite imagery, cone, and models. So, no threat to land, except for as remnants to the Azores, which that could prove to be an issue. Now, this thing came back from the dead. It's 75 mile an hour winds. Uh, Gulab, it came with a different name, Shaheen. Gulab. I don't know why it did that, but um, it reformed yesterday after a couple days, like four days over India. It reformed and, yeah, is expected to go maintain that strength. It may briefly strengthen at about 80 mile an hour winds, though, but weakening 60, 50 mile an hour winds at, with landfall in Oman on October 3rd. Um, okay, what? Interesting exclave situation there. Um, but United Arab Emirates, this thing could be a huge threat to Dubai, though. Um, but yeah, satellite imagery. Yeah, this thing's doing surprisingly well for being in a very arid area. But yeah, this thing could pose a huge threat to Dubai. And then we got Mendul with 65 mile an hour winds. It's no longer a typhoon. Lost that status this morning, this afternoon, I guess. Um, but is expected to maintain tropical storm status. The remnants, it doesn't go into remnants until the Kamchatka Peninsula, which is interesting. Satellite imagery? Yeah. Um, actually. Shining Gulab will be the thumbnail. But, yeah, keep in mind, we're not even done yet because we still got forecasts. Atlantic Ocean is dead, outside of Sam and Victor. And the Pacific Ocean has a couple systems. Okay, the, something with Hawaii that's just dead, actually. Um... But something may pop up there. So there's that. The one system is dead. And then there's that thing there that has a decent chance of forming, I guess. So, with that, that is it. Stay safe. See you in the next video. Bye.